Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. We are starting recording. And today we have heart pounding per la da 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 da. Heart pounding police pursuits call on dashcam. Because I have not found one today, so this is the one we're looking at. All right, you can hush and you can switch. An ambulance thief in Atlanta who apparently doesn't like doctors, and a Florida woman who nearly flipped her SUV like during this wild unless they're chase carrying needles. to a pit maneuver in Georgia that sent this Chrysler careening into an 18-wheeler, and much more. Here are some of the most heart-pounding police pursuits caught on camera. I need one of those cameras that just follows you so my head won't turn on OBS. For in Atlanta, Georgia, April 17th of 2024 was just another day on the job. Around 1 p.m., oh, yeah. they were tasked with transporting a patient from Piedmont Henry Hospital okay. to Piedmont Regional for further evaluation. Oh, Unfortunately, the patient didn't want to go. Instead, 27-year-old Ladarius Williams well, are, stole in America, the ambulance that while is our paramedics true. So were I've still heard. inside. I will he not disagree the with you there. Lot, forcing them to jump from <clears> the speeding vehicle. That's when police moved in, and a helicopter appeared overhead. They and chased the chase toward an was intersection on. where heavy traffic formed a natural roadblock. Let's see if it holds up. Um, how are we doing the audio? Besides the helicopter audio, ignore that. All sounds good to me. Audio is good. Thanks, guys. And now I'm off. Have a good one. Catch you later. Or more. Beat you later. Whichever comes first. Oh, my God. Ladarius narrowly escapes, but his spiked tires won't carry him far. Police eventually chase him into a neighborhood, which only complicates things for the ambulance thief. How oh, does it? Atlanta Police Department. So what are you up to today, Bapu? Anything interesting? Why steal an ambulance? You know, that is a good question. I wish I had an answer for you. <laughs> the helicopter... Audio is... Absolutely garbage. Oh gosh, the rail. All right, uh, right tire from our South Avenue. Down one tire, Ladarius turns into a dead end street. The cul de sac uh, up ahead should serve as what? another natural roadblock. Let's see if Ladarius wiggles his way out of this one, too. As to what I got planned, nothing much. I bought Sparkling. Sparking Zero. Slowly going through it. But watch the new anime. What is Sparking Zero? And what anime did you buy or watch? Is there anyone I've heard of? Probably not, honestly. Whoa. Uh, is that a spike strip? Somehow, Ladarius escapes. He leads police back onto the main road, where he ends up driving in the opposite lane. Thankfully, this chase isn't about to last much longer. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It's okay, still no clue what that is. <laughs> As for the anime, don't toy with me, Miss Nagrado. I have not heard of that anime. Is that a woman or a man? Oh, that's a man. Okay. You have seen Gome stream it. Oh. Is that the Dragon Ball game where you have to build different characters? 
It's a fighting game. Oh, yes, yes. Those homeowners are lucky the light pole was there. Ladarius and his stolen ambulance would have wound up in their living room without it. Police Jeez. arrested and booked Ladarius into Clayton County Jail on charges of aggravated assault, felony fleeing, and theft by taking. It's unclear what he was hospitalized for in the first place. Now, instead of going to Piedmont Regional, he'll be going straight to jail. I may go nap, been up since 7. Fair enough, man. March 14th of 2024. Sheriff's Deputy Brady was on patrol in Indian River County, Florida, when he pulled behind a Mercedes-Benz SUV with a suspicious plate. The tag was registered to someone Suspect. with a suspended driver's license. It also belonged to a green Nissan, meaning someone took it off and screwed it onto the Mercedes-Benz. Huh? Trooper Brady had every reason to believe the driver of this silver SUV was up to no good. So he flipped his lights on and tried pulling the vehicle over. For a moment, the Mercedes looks like it's about to stop on a side street. Then the driver takes off and the chase begins. Nah, he's he's just getting ready for an empty road and he's gonna floor it. But that car doesn't look that fast, honestly. He's not gonna really get far away from a cruiser. This is doing a lot of turns. Behind the wheel is a woman named Nefertiti Dutz, not to be confused <laughs> with Nefertiti, the ancient Egyptian queen. While Nefertiti what? is famous for molding one of the wealthiest kind of periods in Egyptian history, Nefertiti is known for driving <clears throat> with a suspended license. You're about to learn why Florida doesn't want her behind the wheel. Right. Yeah. Okay. They got him now, or got her. I forgot I was a woman. Is she not gonna get out of the car? They have a right to open the door, like. Nafertiti was arrested and charged with fleeing and knowingly driving with a suspended license. After Damn. a quick background check, police learned that she hadn't been allowed to drive for several years. Somehow, she racked up 14 guilty convictions for driving with a suspended license during that time. Nefertiti didn't think traffic laws applied to her. If she lived in ancient Egypt, the pharaoh wouldn't let her anywhere near a chariot. Tavion Lahuan Robinson wants you to believe that he's street tough, but deep down, the 22-year-old Florida man is just another mama's boy. On April 29th of 2024, he and two friends took a joyride outside Tampa. Tavion was driving a black Dodge Charger over 110 miles per hour when he sped by a Florida Highway Patrol officer. Tavion's high-performance sports car was able to put some distance between itself and our state trooper. It also didn't help that traffic was pretty heavy that day. Tavion may not care about anyone else, but our trooper has to consider everyone's safety. It takes him three minutes at nearly 100 miles per hour to finally catch up with the suspect's vehicle. 
As you probably guessed, Tavion didn't feel like sticking around. Of course not, they never do. They never feel like sticking around, why would they? This is over a hundred miles an hour. We need dash cams to have like speedometers. That would be fun. Is he gone? Did they lose him? Tavion breaks the sight line and Jeez. guns it ahead of the police. 130 Our miles an hour. Trooper expertly bobs and weaves through traffic but things are getting more dangerous by the second. According to the report, his cruiser hit speeds close to 150 miles per hour, yet Tavion still pulled away. He eventually zips into the right lane and takes the exit onto South Lois Avenue. Luckily, our officer sees him at the last second and makes a daring move to keep pace. Uh, he just saw him turn into there. Now which way did he go though? My god, his camera is so shaky. Unfortunately for Tavion, South Lois Avenue turns into a narrow two-lane road after the light. There was nowhere left to run when a box truck approached in the oncoming lane, forcing Tavion to take drastic measures. How drastic is drastic though? That's a truck. It is a truck. Ah, oh. that was a drastic. Well, more risky. <laughs> he said, "Get out of the fucking car." Tavion and his male passenger escaped on foot moments after the crash. The female passenger in the back seat remained on the scene, though it's unclear if she was charged with any crimes. She may have simply been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Police established a perimeter and eventually found Tavion hiding in a trash can a few streets over. They arrested and brought him back to our trooper's car, where he kindly asked to call his mama. <laughs> Can I talk to my mother? Yeah. You remember? Yes, sir. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. I'll try again in a couple minutes, alright? Can, can you try another number, my sister? When mom didn't pick up, he asked to call his girlfriend instead. Listen to how he blatantly lies to her and tries to downplay the whole situation. Yeah, I'm in the back of a police car, baby. Um, we had got pulled over. We had got pulled over and stuff. I wasn't driving though, so I should be. Yeah. Hang on, Nottingham. Hang on. Hello. Yeah, we had got. We had. We. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Who you was with? Um, man, you was bro. I was. I was. I was gonna um go get my witch and call it from you, so I could go get my my car from Shayla type shit. My affinity. I ain't even get to tell my probation officer nothing, bro. Throughout the conversation, <laughs> Tavion insists that he wasn't driving the car. 
We learn that he's on probation and was trying to call his PO when his cell service was allegedly turned off. Notice how he's dodgy when his girlfriend asks who he was with or what he was trying to do. He tells the same lie to his mother when she finally answers the phone. Hey, Ma, yeah, Ma, I'm in the back of the police car, Ma. Why? Oh, we had got, got we had got pulled over. I wasn't driving or nothing, though, you feel what I'm saying? But we had got pulled over, bro, and it's just, you already know, bro, like... It's a likely story, but the police don't believe it. That's when our officer confronts him and calls him out on his BS. Driving, bro. He wasn't driving? Yeah, no, bro. That's what I'm saying. I've been telling him to pull over the whole time. Pull over the whole time, bro. Pull yeah, over. You know, I, I saw you, right? Huh? You know, I saw you, right? What you mean? I saw you when I went side by side with your vehicle, man. What you mean? <coughs> I wasn't driving, though. The fuck? <laughs> he bro, was driving. No, the fuck I wasn't driving, bro. I'm trying to tell this whole pull over the car, bro. He definitely was driving, I think. Somebody else was driving? What you mean? Up, Unless the car has two steering wheels. I was just scared, bro. That's why I, I jumped out the whole passenger side, bro, and just ran. Yeah, you leaped over. I see you. Oh, I didn't, bro. Okay. In the end, 22-year-old Tavion Robinson was arrested for fleeing, reckless driving, and driving without a valid license. He also violated his probation, so we assume he landed back in the slammer. On July 31st of 2021, two Georgia State Patrol officers were driving along Jonesboro Road when they spotted smoke up ahead. They pulled up to find a black Chrysler 300 doing donuts in a busy intersection. What the the and his passenger Chrysler? must have seen police coming because they whipped the car around and gunned it south down Jonesboro. Oh, that's a Chrysler. That does not look a like Chrysler. That looks like, uh, I don't know, it looks like the body of a Bentley. Maybe not a Bentley, I don't know. I've never heard of a car called a Chrysler. I do not like the yellow stripe. Let me put a red stripe. These busy roads mean nothing to our suspects. Even as traffic piles up, they have no problem whipping into the oncoming lane, even though he can't see around the bends in the road. Where is he taking them at all? Still trying to get away. Hey, you could have had him there. More officers join the pursuit as our driver crests the hill. Up ahead, he'll have a few split decisions to make as traffic piles up at the lights. Assuming he can't wiggle through the cars, he decides to go around them. He's just like, yeah, if you want to catch me, you're going to have to catch me properly. Yeah. He's swerving. 
How does he have two flat tires? When did he get two flat tires? You can hear the confidence in our officer's voice when the suspect pulls onto the highway. The open <clears throat> space gives our trooper the edge. All he has to do is line up for a pit maneuver, and this chase is over. Which is going to happen right about now, I assume. That was your shit pit. Try again. There, he learned from his mistakes. He made a better one. And now we have the angry cops. Oh, he's trying to run. He's While a few gone. officers chased the driver into the trees, another ran down the passenger on foot. There was a passenger. Oh. <laughs> Police eventually found and arrested the driver after a short foot chase. Unfortunately, we can't find any information about their arrest or charges. This chase began over something so minor, so stupid. All they had to do was not pull donuts in a busy intersection. Hopefully, they learned a lesson and won't be so reckless next time. And yeah, doing an empty parking space or something. It was February 21st of 2023. Police in Conway, Arkansas were in hot pursuit of a black Dodge Charger that was seen fleeing from the Little Rock area. The chase brought them eastbound down I-40, where an Arkansas state trooper was waiting to join the chase. Our officer gunned it and quickly pulled up behind another trooper's car. That's when his fellow officer's lights and sirens malfunctioned, forcing him to take the lead. So can we switch to his perspective then, or what? <laughs> or this is his per this is his perspective. At least he's indicating, you know. He may be being chased by the police, but at least he's using an indicator. In about half a mile, our suspect will have a crucial decision to make. Either he can stay on the interstate, or he tries his luck at the JFK exit. He opts for the latter, which proves to be a big mistake. How is it a big mistake? Easy pit? This one. Yep, that's how it's a big mistake. <laughs> and tries to run. So many of them are trying to run today. While the suspect flees off camera, our officer's body cam helps us to hear the ensuing struggle and arrest. 
You want to me? Put your hands on your back. <laughs> Stupid Put your hands ass. Put your hands on your back. What the you can just about hear it. The suspect, identified as Corey Simmons, was booked into county jail after being treated for minor injuries suffered during the chase. According to the police report, our officer was forced to deliver a closed fist strike on Corey's right cheek to get him under control. It's Jeez. unclear what police charged him with or why he ran in the first place. Last one. April 26th of 2024, Arkansas Highway Patrol Officer Clayton Block has just received word about a speeding Hyundai Elantra. The driver Anywhere, allegedly so. evaded Saline County Sheriff's deputies during a 100 mile per hour chase down the highway. They had been tailing the car on I-30 West, but called off the pursuit after losing sight of the suspect's vehicle. Lucky for them, Trooper Block was waiting near a mile marker up ahead. He spotted the vehicle driving over the posted speed limit and passing cars on the right shoulder. Because the suspect is driving so fast and so recklessly, it takes Trooper Block a few miles to catch up. But he finally does, and the chase is on. So the car we're chasing is the one in front, this white one. Being blocked by the trucks. Ah, <laughs> uh, only the trucks knew what was going on. You can pit. You can hit him. Trooper Block nearly had him boxed into that flatbed truck. We think the driver saw the suspect coming and intentionally stopped short to help the police. Unfortunately, the truck driver on the right pulled ahead, leaving enough room for our suspect to escape. Trooper God Block <laughs> tailed him as he pulled ahead and began weaving through traffic. He bobs and weaves between civilian cars and 18-wheelers without a care in the world for anyone's safety. The suspect even takes out an orange drum as he barrels toward an active construction site. Watch Jeez. how he kicks up dust and debris, making it impossible for Trooper Block to see. Of course. There he goes, you can see him by the smoke. So I wonder if they lose him. Oh no, he's right there. <laughs> Never mind. According to Trooper Block's report, the suspect hit speeds over 80 miles per hour while driving through the construction zone. He narrowly missed crashing into heavy equipment and forced several workers to flee the area for safety. By the time Trooper Block pulls up, you can see where the suspect had nowhere left to run. Unfortunately, we never learned the driver's name. According to reports, he was a Maryland man who wound up on police radar in Arkansas. They arrested and charged him with fleeing, aggravated assault, reckless driving, and speeding. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another That's just hilarious. like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. 
As always, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time. Later.